Jeremy, appreciate that. The start of September means we're getting closer to the annual Race Against Breast Cancer 5K. The early registration deadline is coming up, so our ABC board members, Shelby Moe with University of Kansas Health System St. Francis and Connie Wagers with Stormont Vale are here to tell us how we can all get involved. And you know it's an important cause when all the health organizations come together to get behind <laughs> it. So thank you for Absolutely. being here, ladies. So Shelby, Race Against Breast Cancer, what does the organization do? So I will toss to Connie to let us know <laughs> what what uh, we do as a whole. Overall, Race Against Breast Cancer. Race Against Connie. Breast Cancer helps take care of people within our community, Northeast Kansas, that cannot afford life-saving mammograms. Breast cancer doesn't discriminate, doesn't care what color, what nationality, what gender, doesn't even care what our financial status is. It's going to hit people. And we want to be there to help pay for those exams for people who are struggling. Because early detection is key. It is. So Shelby, how does the Race Against Breast Cancer make sure that you're able to provide the services? Absolutely, well this is one of the big ones, the 5K. This is our biggest fundraising event that we have. Mm -hmm. And so this is coming up October 7th. Um, that's from uh, 7 a.m. to about 11. Mm -hmm. And what we wanted to talk about today was that registration deadline. Right, when is early registration end? Yes. Yeah, so that's September or yeah, September 9th, I'm right. sorry. So get your registration in. Absolutely, absolutely. And so what that does is individual registration right now is $20 for a individual person that's on the team. And the team is less than, or more than five people. Um, and that'll go up to $30 after that. And then if you're doing an individual registration, just running or walking by yourself, um, that's $30 and that'll go up to 40. And so we encourage people to go ahead and get started, go ahead and get registered if they can. And it's more than just the, the 5K. I'd mentioned if you don't mm -hmm. run or you really don't want to walk three miles, mm -hmm. there are other ways to support. And we have some, some pictures and, that we can show mm -hmm. of what are some of the other things. What, what is this and how can mm -hmm. we get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful quilt that we have um, received for the raffle. Mm -hmm. So people can buy raffle tickets and then hopefully their name will get drawn. <laughs> And it's the so, quilt, and then there's another prize as well. It's a photography session. It mm -hmm. is a photography session. That's This is one of the first years that we've done this. So as Shelby has said, Christmas is getting closer. We talked about this <laughs> earlier. People want to get pictures mm -hmm. of their families, and that would be a great opportunity for them to purchase that. So if mm -hmm. you don't run or walk, you can always get the raffle chances. Mm -hmm. What other events will be going on the morning out of the run out at Lake Shawnee? Yeah, we also have a silent auction, and that always has such fun things in it and so much opportunity for different mm -hmm. different purchases there. So um, that we have the silent auction, and there's all kinds of other stuff on site. There's complimentary food. There's a photo booth. There's all kinds of opportunities to have fun there. And do I understand there's a little bit different route this year? How is that going to work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we listened to our runners and our walkers, mm -hmm. and so there was some overlap with runners and walkers. Um, kind of getting in each other's ways in previous years. So we have two different routes. They'll start at the same place, but they go separate ways. Um, so runners are separate than walkers, and then the walkers with the dogs as well with the other walkers. So it's a nice, nice addition. So because we're out at the lake, yeah, people will be able to bring their bring their dogs if they want. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Amazing yeah. time. Absolutely. Always so very fun. And can people just kind of come out and watch? Like you said, there's a silent auction. So anybody can participate in that? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's all at Reynolds Lodge. Correct. The morning of the run. Correct. Absolutely. How fun is this for you guys to do every year? <laughs> so fun. It's so fun to watch. And it's so fun to watch it grow, too. Um, so far, as of today, we had 233 registrants, which is actually higher than our pre-pandemic levels. Just slightly, but still higher. Good. Mm -hmm. And so we're hoping that continues to increase. And that's why you're, you're here. How, how about for you, Connie? Because you've been involved many years as well. I have been. And, and I just love to see the community coming together mm -hmm. to support this need. It is really important for our community that we support people who are struggling financially. And it's fun to get involved with something this big. And we've heard stories of people who have discovered something, haven't had the financial resources, they reach out to RABC and mm -hmm. then they, uh, they find something which isn't such good news, but it's caught early right. and they get it taken care of and go on with their lives. And mm -hmm. that's, that's what we're looking for here. Mm -hmm. with Catching it when it's early is the most easier way to treat it. The problem that we're finding is people are going to pick, do I put food on the table or do I take care of my health? 
and we don't want them to have to make that choice. Absolutely. So join the race against breast cancer. The annual 5K, 32nd annual is October 7th, but remember that early registration ends September 9th. So go to RAVCTopeka.org, sign up now. Shelby, Connie, thank you so very much. We thank appreciate you. you both being yes. here. Thank you for having us. The pr a prize winning drama is ready to take the stage at Arts Connect in Noto. We'll tell you who's behind it and what it's about next.